Hello all. Here we continue with the third part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see, we are modeling an exterior over here. So we have finished it over here. So let's make this pillar using a box. Convert to editable poly. Just go over here, reduce the height. Take a swift loop over here. After that, select the polygon and use a extrude by local normal and click OK. Click over here and if you want to push this down, you can just push it down a bit. So now the next step over here is to make a copy of it so we can make a copy of it you can shift a bit more back over here you can shift this you can push it over here So shift it a bit back. Select this area, push it out and make one copy. Now the next step is creating the stairs. So for creating the stairs, we'll create one more part over here. So I'll be creating one part over here. So now the next step is take a box. Take a box and push this up and push this out and shift this up. Okay, so now what you can do over here is you can increase the height of the stair, you can detail the stair a bit. So you can detail it by pressing, you can go into the convert to poly. Put some loop over here. Select this and use a extrude option over here. So let's use a extrude option by local normal. Reduce it and click OK. So as you can see, so you can just push this step down you can go to this side view and you can take a copy of it and attach it over here so you also have an option over here that is an array option so array will definitely help you out for example if you have any stuff over here and if you want the number of copies so for example you want three copies over here so in what axis you want to move it so you can use this you can use the axis like as you can see you have x axis you can move this x axis down and you want in the form of y axis so you can see you can move it and if you need one more copy into it you can do that and click ok that's it so now as you can see uh, using this array option I have created this so you 
can also use this option a uh, very good and very beneficial option which will make your work very easy so go on pushing it a bit up okay so as you can see we have uh, created this part over here so now you can just again go into the side view and take a copy of it and push this down over here so you can you can push this down over here so if you want you can scale of it if you can scale you can scale more easily you can go into this front view and you can make one more copy over here and click ok now as you can see we have this same so we will make a duplicate of it and let's rotate it so after rotating it so let's remove the snap toggle option because we don't need a snap option over here so we can just push it like this and push this stuff over here oops I'm sorry so make sure you are managing it in a much better way so this is going too high you can just manage it over here like this so as you can see we have uh, properly managed it so you can go into the front view so before making a copy let's go to the side view and let's make one more copy over here like this and click OK. That's it. Says we already have it, so we can make some copies over here like this. So you can push this over here like this. So make sure you are making it more straight. So you can make make some copies and just push it like this. So go on making this copies like this and delete this. That's it. Okay, so just go on selecting this okay not a problem you can just manage to just push it inside this area okay better so now make a cop uh, select this and you can drag and duplicate it over here like this so as you can see we have uh, made the shape accordingly so we are going to slow with this tutorial So we can generate some details over here we can generate some details over here for generating this details so very first of all select this part let's give this is a, a box so use a swift loop over here over here so select this press ctrl select this and 
use a inset option over here and make it as by polygon and click ok that's it you can use a bit of extrude option and you can switch it a bit more inside and click ok that's it so now you can come out of this particular shape so you can create this using a box also so just take a box over here or even you can take a plane so if you take a plane it will not get much heavier so take a plane to make it more lighter so that would be much easier over here as we are going to detail this particular area okay so if you need more so you can generate such details using this option so you can use convert to poly option and you can just duplicate this and you can leave one by one the faces so as you can see we are just selecting these faces one by one and you can delete it and you have a modifier called shell so shell modifier will give you a bit of more thickness to it so you can add some thickness to it and you can add the color to it that's it so duplicate this press shift and duplicate it push it over here and resize it again so wherever it is required that you have to resize it you can easily resize it so you can just change the color to have a look whether it's perfect or not yeah it's well so select it and make a copy over here make a copy here too okay so you can just uh, convert to editable poly and you can just select this polygons the required polygons and you can delete this polygons and you can finalize it you can save your file so let's save this save as it so we can keep it inside into the D drive okay so thanks for watching this tutorial